Dearly beloved, I greet you all in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Is this place nice to see there is a beautiful falls behind? Isn't it beautiful? Do you like it? Do you wonder where it is? It is actually situated at the prayer mountain that the Lord has given us. This falls is right on the prayer mountain. Please come and have a look. You can visit here and sit at these places and meditate on Jesus Christ, right? It is a beautiful place and God has given us a serene atmosphere over here. I lovingly invite you to visit this prayer mountain which is near Kutralam and have a look at these sceneries and pray here. All right. What is the word that the Lord is giving us today? The Lord says something in Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 10. And the pleasure of the Lord and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. So our Lord God gives us a beautiful promise here. There may be something in your life that is not prospering. It may seem to be hindered always. Your marriage may not be prospering. There seems to be no way opening for your higher studies. Your house construction may not be progressing. The blessing of the womb may not be there. Certain things pertaining to your children may not be prospering. Are you discouraged saying nothing seems to prosper? I see hindrance everywhere. The Lord is the one who makes it prosper. Do you know what he will cause to prosper? Only that which is his pleasure. If only he made everything that you desired to prosper, you might get caught in a great danger. And that is why, though we may desire many things, God prospers only that which pleases to him. And the Lord knows what will be a blessing to you and which will be useful to your future. He will bring only that thing to prosper. The pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Can anyone hinder if he decides to give you something according to his will? Who can hinder if he wants to bless you? So do not fear at all. No one can hinder the blessing upon your work, income, children and family. And when the Lord makes it prosper, no one can hinder even the whole world is against it. So do not be discouraged saying this person is hindering or that person is hindering. Instead, you say, Lord, you will cause to prosper that which is your pleasure for me. I believe that. Praise God who makes the good things to prosper for me. Say like this and it will prosper. It will prosper in his hand. That which is his pleasure shall prosper. Then it will become a blessing to you. There will not be any sorrow added to it. Instead, it will make you glad. Shall we pray? Dear Father, I believe that which is your pleasure will prosper for me, for us, and I expect a miracle in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.